So how tough is it to you know, not just beat Josh Allen once, but to try to do is that kind of what you did the first time once again? Yeah, it's uh it's a tremendous challenge. It's um it's one of those rare teams that you can make the right call, you can execute correctly, uh, you can do everything right, and then play number two starts and somebody falls down and somebody's out of position and, and he beats you with play two. So his his ability to get off schedule and, and improvise is it's it's tough. It's tough as it gets. Jeff, what did you do so well against him last time? I mean without getting giving anything away, but you know, what, what worked? I mean, and, and can you incorporate some of that stuff this go-round, or do you have to shake, shake everything up? Um, I think there's a balance of both both things. I think there's some things that we did well that obviously we'll want to keep doing, but there's obviously there's an element of, of bringing in some new wrinkles to, to get, them, um, get them off a little bit. Um, but more than anything, I felt it was less me as a play caller. I really felt it was just the players were just getting a really good grasp for the formations, the concepts, how they were trying to attack us. And uh, I think this group has proven throughout the year that as we've gone into second halves, they just get better and better and better because of that. How did you feel about the defense the other day? Yeah, we didn't play well enough by any means. Um, uh, I didn't call the game well enough. I could have adapted earlier um, in that first half. Uh, we didn't tackle like we could have. We had missed stops on the ball. Um, it just wasn't characteristic of this group this year. So you say you didn't call, you could have come in as a play caller. What did you do in the second half that, you know, was able to kind of limit the Vikings? I, I think it was a combination of, of me probably putting our guys in better position to be successful and, and helping them out with, um, you know, we got away from a little bit of zone, played a little bit more man, um, whatever the case may be. And it was, again, the players just uh, – you know, just keeping, like, gathering information and, and playing faster and anticipating. And, you know, so it was, it was a combination of both of us just doing a better job in the second half. You guys have been good, so good throughout, of course, all those second halves. And it's been a season-long thing. You guys are top five in points given up in the second half. What do you attribute to, obviously, you make adjustments like you just mentioned. What do you attribute to having that success over all of the second halves this year? It's, it's like I said, I think it's a combination of, of the coaching staff doing a really good job of, of not letting errors ever be repeated, um, getting a really good beat on how they're trying to attack us, and then a group that's really adept to, to taking that information and applying it and, and playing faster and, and playing with more anticipation. And, and uh, So it's both of us just improving as we go. Do you expect Josh to be different this game? Because I think that was probably his worst game this season. Do you expect him to just come in with a different attitude to yeah, I think, you know, when you look at him historically, as the year goes on, especially down the stretch, he's a guy that absolutely wants to put the team on his back, you know. So um, I, could, I could definitely see him running more. I could definitely see him scrambling more. I could definitely see them more uh, quarterback design runs and just giving him an opportunity to, to put it on him more. So I think we're going to get that. And, and obviously there's going to be an element of, of, of payback that all players feel and all coaches feel whenever you lose. And it doesn't matter how you lose. It's just you want to get them the next time. So uh, we'll get the very best version of the Bills. I'm convinced of that. Jim, you, um, you guys are 21st in third down uh, efficiency. I'm sure you want to be higher than that, obviously. Uh, why aren't you guys higher? What's not happening? Uh, it. We had a, a, a period of time there, like the last four or five games where we were improving, and then the last couple, we've kind of fallen off a little bit. It's the short windows that we're struggling with. Um, you know, it's a, it's a byproduct of a lot of things, but, you know, it's me putting these guys in the best position to take advantage of what we got, you know, and the strengths that we have. Um, if that means more man, more zone, based upon the team we're playing, how they're, how they're challenging us, um, just being better as far as that's concerned, and then better execution across the board by everybody. So it's a little bit all, all, all the things involved. When you, um, you mentioned that, that Josh is going to be running a little bit, and when he does run, he becomes, now he's a running back. So you tell your guys, like, there's your opportunity. Like, go, I mean, because without people are protecting quarterbacks in the pocket, is that kind of the opportunity to get your licks on him? Yeah, like, you, you have to tackle him like a runner. He's not a guy that slides. He's not a guy that likes to run out of bounds. So... Um, you got to approach them a little bit differently than most quarterbacks. You think most quarterbacks you got to approach um, very cautiously. You know, they don't get ejected from the game for some sort of hit on them. Um, he's not the guy that's going to give himself up. So you got to you got to tackle him. You got to hit him, which we plan to do.